Welcome to the K-State Art Department's Digital Print Lab. This is a video on how to successfully print an image using the Epson P800 inkjet printers in this lab. First, download your image onto the desktop of the lab computer. Trying to work off from an external drive can slow the process and risk losing files. Second, open Photoshop. You will need to log in to Adobe Creative Cloud with your own credentials. Photoshop will give you the best options for printing a digital photo saved as a TIFF file. We can now prep the file for printing. Go to Image image size, change the dimensions of the image to the actual size you wish to print. Then change the resolution to mo no more than 300 dpi. Less than 300 dpi can cause quality issues in your print. You may have to click resample if it is not already clicked. When finished, click OK. Next, we need to make sure the layers are flattened. You may see more than one layer in your layers palette. To flatten, either go to the options menu in the palette or to the layers menu on top and click flatten image. Now we are ready to print. Go to file, print. A dialog box opens up for printing options. Notice the preview window with a sample image of what your print will look like. First, choose your printer. There is a list of printers that are in this lab. Make sure you know what printer you are printing to. If there are other people in the lab, you may want to make sure printer you have chosen is free and no one else is printing to it. Observe the print preview image. Choose the correct layout option, portrait or landscape, and go to the printer settings. A new dialog box will appear. If you do not see the below options, click show details. Choose the proper print size to correspond with the paper you will be using. Common sizes are letter or 17 by 22. Paper in these sizes are available for purchase from the lab monitor station with cat cash. Then click the drop down menu and go to color matching. Make sure to click Epson controls colors then go back to the drop-down menu and go to Printer Settings. For paper source, make sure Sheet Feeder is chosen. For media type, this chooses the type of paper finish you will be using. We carry the Ultra Premium Photo Luster. This is a very important option to choose correctly because there are two types of black ink. If matte black ink is used on a glossier finished paper, it will not stick to the surface. If photo black ink is used on a matte paper, the black will come out gray. For print mode, choose Epson Precision Dot for a color photo, an advanced black and white for a black and white photo. Color mode should be Adobe RGB. The output resolution can stay at 1440. Uncheck high speed and check finest detail. Click save and then click print. The printer's queue will appear in the toolbar. You can click on this to observe the progress. 
The file will be sent to the server and then Papercut will open a login box for you to enter your K-State credentials in. Enter your credentials and click OK. Papercut will then charge your account. If this transaction takes longer than one minute, Papercut will ask you to log in again to authenticate your purchase. Make sure to do this. For this reason, do not send more than one job at a time so you do not get confused as to which job you are paying for. If you're having trouble with the printing process, look at these troubleshooting tips found on the desktop of each computer. At this point, you should load the paper, glossy side out, on the right hand side of the printer, in between the adjustable clips in the sheet feeder. Your print should start printing. If you have any questions, ask the print monitor or find the print lab supervisor found in the woodshop office.